Hey, I'm back again. Today's episode, I'm gonna show you how I created this video. Me and Matt went out a little bit before 6 a.m. to just capture this beautiful moment at Lisboa port. Right before the sun was showing, I knew that I have a small window to just capture all the footage I wanted. Because when the sun was up, I knew that we want to have Matt running to capture the beautiful moment of a sunrise run. I'm not here today to talk about how a shot is. I'm here today to explain how you can build an edit on sound effects. I want to mention when I created this, I definitely had like a Nike commercial in my mind. I wanted to create something cool, actionable, and something that would catch your eye right away. But let's break down this edit. The first shot you hit with is the ocean hitting the port, the sunrise is rising up, and the seagulls in the background. This puts at least me in a calm state. When we come deeper into the sunrise shot, I put on a racing heartbeat sound to just build up the tension. The most important part with sound effects, why you need to add it and why you should focus on it, is because it makes the audience feel more present. I also want to mention the typing and the breathing part because I've been building up with heartbeat for 10 seconds here. And then the typing comes in and I breathe out like a release before everything hits. <sighs> this footage would also work if I just had a song without the sound effects. But when you have the sound effects of breathing and running, it creates a present feel to it. Here's the scene without the music. This shot you see right now where Matt is running past trees is built up with visual effects and sound effects. You can hear the swoosh sound effect repeating itself for every three it passes. When we look at the visual effect, I want this scene to look like it was going faster than it was. So I found a perfect spot in the video where I passed a tree. I masked the tree out, copied that part, duplicated the clip and pasted it over and over again during this running scene. That will create a look where it's going fast and a lot is happening. To make a more natural feeling, I made those trees that are passing in different sizes. The second step I took was to add directional blur. When you add directional blur, it will make the moving object look more realistic. As you can see here, when I turn it on and off, is a big difference when you have the directional blur on compared to when I have it off. You can do the same if you wanna add like transitions or having parts that looks like moving fast, just mask it out, put directional blur on it and it will give you this effect. And don't forget, put sound effect on it. It's gonna create this whole different experience to it. And what I add last is this two pieces right here to make a more cinematic feel to it. That's why you see at the end I raised this up. Thank you guys for watching. That was a quick breakdown of how I created this 30 second intro to our running vlog. If you want to see more of this, let us know in the comment and please subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot. So if you have not done that, please do. And until next time you see me, bye.